All right, let's have a look at Coinbase. Coin today slightly down, maybe, um, well, initially gapped up, gave it all back, couldn't go back up. So even though BTC was going pretty crazy, maybe that's why all the crypto names popped, but it didn't have a follow through. Why? So this 212.50, that's the level it couldn't get back above. Well, if we go back five years since they went public somewhere around 380 320 that's where the initial public offering where the where it opened actually uh, initial public offering price could have been different but that's where it opened and after that first year this 212 213 ish this this zone this level was a floor for quite some time and then it rolled over in 2022 and it became a resistance. So that's why it's having a little bit of a hard time here. And you can see after every big rallies, right? For bit for BTC to like pull back significantly, like 30, 40, 50 percent is not a big deal. So right here, right now, well, since it's pretty big resistance and unless BTC starts pushing really, really high above its new all-time highs, maybe goes to 70, 80, 90K, I'm not expecting coin to easily break out of this resistance and start squeezing crazy here. Short float, 10%, I think. And um, I'm gonna be watching for Coinbase uh, on a more, let's switch to hourly chart. So on an hourly chart, I'll be watching post mark uh, earnings highs, which is 192.50, which acted as a support yesterday. Um, today we'll see, tomorrow we'll see. I'll be watching this level as a support. If we lose 192, 190, stock is coming back down to 160 and maybe even 150 to test its 50 day moving average. That's my opinion. Today, Call volume, 319,000 calls, 177 puts. So put to call ratio, pretty big. Uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter or here on YouTube, well, you can just go through the YouTube link. I, I put my, um, I mean, I post simple, like one sentence posts a lot about stocks throughout the market hours. Uh, not always, but with BTC, I mean, with coin, I've been following it since, I mean, this summer alone. I mean, after um, after first initial pump in summer, I was following it to get back above 100 and push higher. And pretty much all those support resistance lines that I have been watching, uh, working out still just fine if you take a look at it. 110 resistance we broke out came back almost tested right back up and we're at that supply level so we'll see what happens but i'm i'm not super bullish and i'm not expecting to basically coin just run away from here unless we clear 213 21250 um basically in the beginning of the march uh we do have yes i know BTC has um, halving event in April, I believe. But yeah, that's what I'm watching. Those are the levels I'm watching for Coinbase. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.